Welcome back to the channel everyone. You're here with Dave from Mad for Heli. This is the TB70 uh, build and this is episode 12. Today we're going to be installing the head and main gear ready for uh, ready for setup. So off camera a little bit of work with uh, servos just had to get the right ones. Neo's not mounted yet. I'll do that last just to make sure all the wiring's done. It's just, it's easier to be able to pick up and move around. I've got my servo centered roughly until I put my swash leveler on. Um, my ties, my rod ends in. I'm just about ready to put my head in. So I'll just leave this off for now. This can, this can go in later. Or we could put it in now. Might be difficult to put in after. Anyway, put it after, lock tight it in. Now, I've heard of some people needing this shim, some people not. So, of course, we will try it with the shim. Most helis I've had to put the shim in. This one might surprise me. So, easy done. Main shaft just go straight in. I don't actually know how this sits in there, it looks like. It looks like the main gear holds everything. It does sit up quite high that shaft. Quite high indeed. Head needs to come off for swash leveling, so we're we'll going. Well, no, don't snap it in yet. We'll see how this gear goes. Where did that bolt come from? Did you love it when you have a spare bolt? I know it come off. <laughs> I know it come off early days. It's for the head, I think. That second bolt. Yep. All right. We hope you can see this. That nut doesn't come out too easy, which is great. Put that in. Worst thing is trying to work on it and get the nut on while you're trying to do it. So, pull this up. Main gear. In. Oh, that's a tight mesh. This machine it goes tight, tight and soft. Where is that shit meant to go? Let's double check that. Does the shin go under the gear or does it go under the head? Go back a few steps. Head. Does it actually tell you? There's a lot of back and forth in this manual instead of just kind of having a page by page, even if you have to add an extra page in for the step that you're going, because you know they have swash plate leveling here. It's like the first page. You want to just be able to turn page to page to page. Looks like we have to figure this one out. I'm assuming it went under the head shaft. Now we just have to have a look and see if that holds there. We'll lay it over. Let's have a look here. Let's see if that stops once I put the bolt in. That's not the bolt, this is the bolt. Just as you want to put the bolt in, it moves. I'll do this sucker up. Quite tight. 
is a nylon nut. Okay, slop's gone. There's a tiny bit of play. But that is in the head, so the shaft. Shaft is solid. The head, okay, the play's coming from my loose bolts here. All right, just calm down, everyone. Calm down. All right. What's that hitting? It's just a bit tight in the gear there. Some hovering. So like we've got some hovering to do. All right, let's connect this wash up. And that's the wrong one. Now, I don't know if anyone realized, but have a look at the servo horns that I've got in here. Can you see the servo horns? Look familiar? I spoke about them earlier, sub servo horns. So the um, the servo balls that you get with the kit have a screw on them. There's not enough room once you screw them through this to get a nut on the back. There's, you wouldn't even get half a nut and I'm not going to trust that. So I bought some servo, sub servo arms set on the middle hole, which is 18 millimeters. And the tail does need the spacer with the longer bolt. So that does need an extension. And now I'm running sub balls they're basically the same size you can run whichever balls you would like now let us get this in here looks like we're gonna have to pop that in there which is gonna be tight let's see what we can do here how are we going to do this? There's got to be an easier way here. We can do it like this. Stick the thread in the hole here. Ish. And that's the wrong way. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I turn that anti-clockwise as I turn all the other ones anti-clockwise to make sure I've got the right side. Perfect. Lock tight. Just a tad on there. I'm still using my old cloth. I didn't want to get the new one dirty. And I wasn't sure how it was going to look on the video. Here we go. Hopefully, that's the last time. If I have to, if I have to pull this out again, I might just, uh, when I go to level the swash, I might just take the support off maybe just honestly might be easier than stuffing around with that that's just go for the easy selling key you don't really want to be stuffing with that too much all right that's the head on um we can we can level the swash while you're here real quick i suppose if you're watching let's let's, let's level the swash for those who don't know how to level the swash i love it I love it how now I'm just gonna scratch all my head up because these plies don't go in there very well. I get these ones okay. I just hear it scratching already. Sometimes you just gotta twist them off. Or we'll just take them off here. Bend them over. Sounds better. Just bend them. 
be in the way. Subtrim menu. I don't like using the other menu, as you could if you wanted to. Sometimes I do. Sometimes. I prefer to get them all centered using the sub trim, and then if I have to, I'll use the the other trim. Just you're allowed to move. It allows you to move uh, one servo up, one servo down at the same time. And I'm just pulling the bush out of the um, swash leveler. straight on and it's very tight for some reason not a bad thing get in there. All right. now all we're doing is wow that's way out of level all right you sit it on there give it a tap and I think we're after channel one trim too far so we look at the other ones we're at 16 29 so we have to still come up I think I went down we'll go to 25 servo 2 Turn it, you can feel the pressure on each one. Perfect. All right, swash is level. Line servos don't uh, they don't sound too shabby at all if I, if I must comment on them now these washout arms you need to make sure that they're at the right orientation before you put the head on otherwise they don't like to go on snap these in we will do the bolt up first I think where's the bolt I think that might be the go Just finding the belt. And scratch the black up. All right, I don't know. I don't think there's no wrong way and right way to do these up. It's not, it's 
not really a pinch setup. It's more just tightening the head up. The pinch is in the next bolt that I put in. So, comment down below if the if you prefer to do it a certain way. Do you do your normal bolt up first? Do you do your pinch up first? Do you do a bit of both? Let us know. It's interesting to see how everyone puts their hallies together. All right. Turn this for some leverage. Do you like to push down? Do you like to push up? I don't think it really matters. Where's most of the do most of the flying up, so we'll we'll lift the head up. We'll just firm that one up. And I stuffed that up, didn't I? Oh, see what I mean? No, no, I didn't. No, calm down. Tighten that up. This requires standing up to tighten this one up. Last bolt on the head. Head it turn to where it needs to be. Now I haven't marked this head yet because I haven't done a setup. And what I mean by mark it is normally I've got a paint pen oh, and I like to mark. Oh, that just popped off. <sighs> So when I'm pulling a head apart, I do like things to go back the same way. Just basically you put it back the same way. It doesn't need to be reset up. You should always check though. Paint pen and I just put a little, I put a dot inside here. I put a dot on the back of the blade and I put a dot on the top of that and a dot here just so I know that that's where it all goes. It can only go on one side. And that's still connected. Beautiful. All right, that concludes this episode of the head install. Uh, next episode will be, I suppose we'll put the blades on, tail in, um, and then it's, well, before the blades go in, I probably should test the motor and just make sure uh, that it spills up and bailout is set. Make sure that our, our percentage is set to make sure that it does bail out. Um, for those of you who use bailout, you got to make sure that your throttle doesn't see zero. It's got to see above that to go into bailout mode. So we just need to double check, double check all these things. Um, I just realised this Neo has rescue on it, so uh, I would like to set that up. It would be a nice, nice thing to to have and to test. I'm a little bit scared about testing it. Comment below if I if uh, you think it's easy to set up and you know, give me some tips if if you think so. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. We will catch you on the next episode. See you later, everyone.